stuck here on a Friday night. It's Patterson! I need you down here! At my home office, right or right! Why? It's covert! The CIA offices aren't safe enough for this. Alright, I'll be there right away. Quickly, get down here! Your phone is still in five seconds! Hey, what? <laughs> Dang it, I just bought that! Lawson! Patterson. I've been expecting you! I've been expecting you too. Please, have a seat. I will. I haven't had time to clear the deck. It's you, it's a name. So what is this all about? Well, Walter, you see... Oh, hold on You see, we have a very large case on our hands at the moment. You aren't kidding. For you. Now, we believe, and we have reason to believe, that there's a Soviet spy infiltrating the American government. Now, now, <clears throat> we don't know his name, we don't know where he is, but we do know that he has a contact, somewhere in the middle of nowhere, Tennessee, in a city called Fairfield. His name is Ralph Nelson, and he's a time mechanic out there. Now, we have something that the boys in the lab prepared for you. It's a communicator watch, specially designed for someone of your stature. This is a communicator. It's also disguised as a watch, and it can make a very good cup of tea. Now, take that. Now, you'll need to get these files read and sent to me by the morning. Also, they're going to self-destruct in five seconds. Wow. I didn't even get a chance to memorize it. Too bad. Get them off. Nice seeing you, Patterson. Good afternoon, sir. What do you want? My name is Isaac Lawson. I'm with the CIA. I'm Ralph Nelson. Time for canned. Pleasure. Uh, do you happen to know of a Russian man who may have been through these parts recently? Yeah, with my buddy. Can you describe him? Give me a name, maybe? Mm, I don't know, can I? I don't know, can you? Will I? Yes. I don't think so. Why don't you tell me why I'm here for? Sir, this certain Russian man is wanted by the CIA for conspiring against America. What? That can't be right. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that you might know more than you're letting on. Well, you know what I think? I think you know a little too much. Don't do it. I think that's real! No! You hit me on my nose! Oh! Why that's would you? Oh. Face, baby. Oh, you hit me in the nose! You're over dramatic. You hit me on my nose! It's my perfect nose! Oh. oh, you hit me in the nose! And I'll do it again if you don't tell me what you know. Oh, I can't I'll tell you. Just, oh, let go of my arm. Alright. His name is Ivan. I can't you know, understand you. Take your hand off your nose. You live by, you live by the river. You what live by it? the river place. What's his name? Ivan. Ivan. Ivan Schloppenhausen. Where does he live? Out by the river in nowhere, Tennessee. You mean Fairview? 
very end. All right, then. Oh. You better be right. Oh. Or I'll be back. Oh, my nose is so bad. Oh, don't hurt me no more. Harrison, it's Lawson. I found Ivan. About to intercept. you have here yeah so where are the plans what plans i don't know any plans i think you do know what plans i'm talking about no i don't how about this you're gonna tell me about the plans you stole from nasa to give to your superiors for the ussr or i'm gonna beat it out of you right so i'm going to beat it out of you then oh my god now where are the plans oh, all right all right all right I sent them back to the, my superiors. Why do they want the plans? Because my comrades are putting a bomb in the rocket! Oh my Krishna. You stay there. All right. Or I'll bop you in the nose again. Okay. Patterson. Lawson. I've located Ivan. He informs me there's a bomb on the Apollo rocket. Oh, there's a bomb? We'll get to that right away. Oh, there's a bomb! All right. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. I don't know the rest of the speech. I'll get it to you later. In the mail. Countdown initiated. Five, four, three, two, one. Three, two, one.